So this is a type of question where I've seen students do some really interesting things. However, it's actually one of the easiest kind of questions. And this happens in many different sections in maths, such as calculus, algebra, all sorts of different sections. All you do is you make use of formulas, okay? So they tell us that the third term of an arithmetic sequence is 14. So right there, there is so much information. So all we do is we say, oh, it's an arithmetic sequence. Well, we know that the formula for that goes like this. And so let's fill as much in as we can. Well, they've told us that the third term has a value of 14. So we can say 14 equals, A is term one. We don't know what that is. That's okay though, just don't fill it in then. N N stands for your position. Well, they've told us it's the third term, so we can put a three over there, and we don't know what the common difference is. That is also okay. So then what we do is we say 14 is equal to A plus, three minus one is just two, and so we end up with that. We can't go any further with that, so we just leave it like that. Then we go to the next piece of information, which tells us that the 10th term is 84. So we make use of the formula again, and we go for so, so we know that the value is 84, so we put that over there. A, we don't know. They've told us that it's term 10, so we just say 10, and then the minus 1, and then the difference, we don't know. So we end up with 84 equals to A plus 9D. Aha, now have a look here. We have two equations that we have just formed, and we have two unknowns. So we know how to do that. It's simultaneous equations. So simultaneous equations, all that you need to do. So many people tell me, Oh, you have to make the two, two equations equal to each other. I disagree. What you're actually doing, and I understand where people are coming from, sometimes you get an equation like y equals to 3x minus 1 and y equals to 2x plus 4, and then people say, oh yeah, you just make them equal to each other like that. Okay, so that is correct, but you're not actually making them equal. What you're doing is a technique called substitution. So for example, if we look at this first part here, it says that y is the same as 3x minus 1. Then what we do is we go to the other equation and wherever we see a y, we replace it with 3x minus 1. And so we end up with 3x minus 1 equals to 2x plus 4. So you don't, so you're actually just replacing the one letter with the other expression, okay? So let's do that now in this example. So we could, for example, call this equation number one, let, and we need to get a or d by itself. So let's just get a by itself quickly. So that's gonna give us a equals to 14 minus 2d. And we could call that equation two, for example, doesn't really matter. We then take that expression, oh, and let's just call this equation three. We're then gonna take this expression over here and use that in equation number Three. So what it tells us is that wherever we see an A, we can replace it with 14 minus 2D, like that. See, we didn't go make the equations equal to each other, and so we end up with 84 equals to 14 plus 7D. And so if we solve for D, we get 7D is equal to 70, therefore D is 10. We then take that answer and we plug it back over here, and so we end up with a equals to 14 minus 2 times 10, and therefore a is going to be equal to negative 6. So now we can go to, it says calculate the hundredth term. So we just go term 100 equals to, so I'm just using the formula, this one over here. So a is minus 6, term 100, so we'll just say 100 minus 1, and the common difference we just realized is 10. Type all of this in on the calculator and you get an answer of 984. So guys, whenever you get a question like this, don't try to work it out in your head. Plug it into that formula. You're usually gonna end up with a simultaneous equation and then you solve. Easy as that.